All right, look at section two. This is over scientific notation. Scientific notation is basically a way to write really, really small numbers or really, really large numbers using powers of 10. Um, you see this a lot in science classes. So this is the form that scientific notation comes in. A is just gonna be a number that can be one but it is a number that is between one and 10, so it's like 9.8 or 7.5. So look at these examples. This is in scientific notation. This number is between zero and 10, and then you have a power of 10. And this is also in scientific notation because this is also between zero and, uh, excuse me, one and 10. And this one is also in scientific notation because 7.1 is between one and 10. So these numbers have to always be between 1 and 10, but they can be equal to 1. So you can't have like 0.78, or you can't have like 10 or 11 or 12. All right, so look at these and see if you can tell if they're written in scientific notation. You can pause because I'm going to keep going so the video is not so long. So no, this is not because that is 53, and that's not between 1 and 10. So nope. This one is because that is between one and 10. This one is not because that's not written as a power of 10, that's just 100, it has to have an exponent. And you can look at the other three and see if they are written in scientific notation. And then you'll be able to look at the completed notes and see if you've got the answers correctly. Okay, the other two parts of this lesson is writing a number in scientific notation. So here's the decimal, and to get it to create a number between one and 10, I go back one, two, three, four, five, to 6.78 times 10 to one, two, three, four, five, the fifth power. And on this one, I take my decimal and I go one, two, three, four, five, so 3.2 times 10 to the negative five. Because a positive exponent represents going to the right when you're moving it. So that means you would go back one, two, three, four, five. Negative means you go to the left. So that's what you do. All right, look at the second group. If you're gonna go from scientific notation to standard form, remember the positive exponent means you're gonna go to your decimal and you're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six. So that means five and five. And then one, two, three, four, five zeros. One, two, three, four, five zeros. So a positive exponent usually is indicating a very large number. A negative exponent is usually indicating a very small number. So look at number 19. You have a negative five, so that means your decimal is gonna go back to the left. One, two, three, four, five. So I have a, a decimal place and then one, two, three, four zeros. One, two, three, four zeros. And four is the fifth part of the move. And then the six. Because if we were gonna go back to scientific notation, we would go one, two, three, four, five. That's where the negative five comes from. And that's basically it. That's the lesson.